weather coverage you can count on with meteorologist Grace Anello and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. All righty, good people. We got a lot to get to in just three minutes to get there, so stick with me. We're looking completely dry and clear on the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network at 616 on your Monday evening, and we're going to stay that way for the rest of this evening, but not for much longer after that. Each of our sky camera networks is looking beautiful from Thompson Roofing and Construction. We can see our city lights with perfect clarity, showing us that we really don't have any fog this evening. What we do have, but can't see because the sunset, is plenty of cloud cover. And that's going to keep our temperatures just a touch warmer. At the moment, we're sitting in the low 40s and the upper 30s, feeling even colder than that. By the time we get to 9 p.m., almost all of us will be at the upper 30s, feeling like the low and mid 30s. We're going to keep that cloud cover with us, even as we head to bed tonight. Alrighty, well, we will see a touch of rain first thing on Tuesday morning. So as you head out the door, make sure you bring an umbrella and maybe a rain jacket with you. Each of our areas could see a light sprinkle there. It's not going to be storms, but it will be light rain early in the morning. The good news is it doesn't stay in our forecast for long. It concentrates to our south and eastern counties by the time we head to lunchtime, and shortly thereafter, it's gone and out of our way. But what we're going to keep is plenty of that cloud cover. Your high temperature on your Tuesday is going to sit in the mid-40s, but with a breeze, we'll be feeling a bit less comfortable than that temperature really is implies. All right, now one of the things that I'm watching is not only that rain, but a powerful cold front attached to a pressure system that's going to blow some Arctic air into the Twin States, including the Tennessee Valley, and that's going to plummet our temperature. So when I say plummet, I mean it. We're going to see a 30 degree difference between your wake up temperature on Thursday and that of your wake up temperature on Friday. Talking 12 degrees there, even moving to the single digits on Saturday, and then we're going to stick in the teens through Christmas Day itself and even into the start of the next work week. All right, well, everyone's been asking about the snow potential, so let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room. We have a normal high temperature for winter time on Thursday at 52 degrees, but later that evening, that powerful cold front is going to sweep through the area. So the rain that we've seen during the day is going to turn to a rain snow mix around bedtime and even into the overnight hours. Now we will see a very light dusting of snow in the wee hours of Friday morning. By the time you wake up on Friday, we'll have stopped seeing that snow. What we will be left with is a little bit of black ice on the roads and much cooler temperature, excuse me, for your Friday and for your Christmas Eve. We're talking low and mid 20s there, but the return of just a little bit of sunshine. So the moral of the story, if you like the warmer wintertime temps, then enjoy Tuesday, Wednesday and the start of Thursday. By the time we get to Thursday afternoon, we have that cold front move through. Our rain turns to a snowy mix and then a light dusting. By the time you wake up on Saturday, Christmas Eve, you'll wake up with temperatures in the single digits and our highs will only rise to the low and mid 20s. We'll sit in the low 30s on Christmas Day itself, but overnight temperatures are going to stick around in the teens for quite some time.